What's happening guys? I hope you're all doing well. So today we've bring you another video and we're showing six dribbling drills to make you more agile and get quicker feet so you'll become a better attacking option for your team. Hope you all enjoy the video, let's get into it. The first drill we're going to be doing in this session is a simple comb weave. I did this roughly six times just going there and back using one foot at a time. You're going to be wanting to take two to three short and sharp touches make them as precise as possible on each side per cone. Don't worry too much if you make a mistake or two. On the way up you're going to be using your right foot and then on the way back you'll switch to your left foot making sure you're not just training the strong foot so you can equally improve. The next drill we're going to be doing in this session is called a zigzag slalom. In this drill, as you'll see, I work up going once on my right foot and my rest is just walking back to the start. I repeat the drill again on my left foot. After this, you can have slightly longer rests for about 15 seconds, but you shouldn't really need much because in this drill, we're not aiming to go at a fast pace. We're going at a slow, steady pace to get touches in and round the cone precisely. This drill is another very simple one as you will see as I'm just going up and around the outside of each cone rather than the inside. There are a lot of variations to this drill because of the simplicity of it but on this we're just making it as simple as possible going around on the outside trying to get as many touches in as I've said just to improve our control over the ball which will help us a lot in the game. The third drill on the list is called a lane dribble. In this one you're going to set up a little gate with two cones to mark your starting line, making about the distance of mine about 5-6 yards apart. Then about 10-15 to 15 yards away, place another single cone to mark the cone you're going to be rounding as shown now. You're now going to want to get the ball and dribble at the cone at a high speed and in this one you're not focusing too much on taking too many short sharp touches. You're simply just trying to get to the line as quickly as possible to make it back to the starting line again. So I did this drill six times over both feet. Since this drill has done a, a higher intensity compared to the other exercises, it means it's much more higher demanding on your body's aerobic capacity. So you may find you need to take a bit more rest, however it still shouldn't be much on this. You're looking at maybe taking... 30 seconds rest in between each rep. This drill is very similar to the last one, which is why I call it the same thing, a lane dribble. It is the same thing, just a larger scale. So I placed the two same gates about five yards apart as before, this time over a roughly 35 yard distance. And again, with our goal is just to have as many touches on the ball as we can which is why you see me trying to take a touch every single step of the way. On the way up, I'm using my right foot and on the way back down, I'm using my left foot as shown. We're working at a high speed, trying to get there and back as quickly as possible. It is on a much larger scale and you're working at high speed. I'd suggest about 35 to 40 seconds rest between each rep. This drill is called the Ronaldinho Freestyle Drill. It's one of my favourite drills to do and to complete it you'll need from anywhere of 10 plus cones. You need to place these cones randomly on the floor in a confined area and simply dribble throughout them in random ways, doing different moves, turns and getting touches on different surface areas of your feet. You should do this for about 30 seconds each time and I did it 6 times for 30 seconds each. This drill will help you improve your tight space dribbling, which will make you a better player and help you win more battles in tight space areas on the pitch.
final drill of the session I like to call the varied gate dribbling drill. I'm not sure if this one has a common name like the others, but I've seen it used by a ton of other professional players. To complete this drill you need 10 to 20 cones and you need to place those cones in sets of 2 to make a 2 to 3 yard space between to make a gate. You should be placing these gates in different positions to force you to get your head up while dribbling and know where you have to go. This translates to a game because you'll need your head up to see oncoming players and get into the space. A better way if you do this drill is to angle the gates differently as well to make it even harder. When doing this drill I prefer to go there and back to mess with my head a little more, but I definitely don't remember each time where I have to go. I hope you can take something from this video and put it into your own training sessions to make you a better player. Thank you again for watching, please drop a like and subscribe, see you next time.